Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 4th to the 10th of January 2021 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Pisces and pull your angel card. So what do we have for Pisces please, angels? What does Pisces need to hear the most for the week? Thank you. Thank you. So the messages remain positive. Sometimes I associate this with the law of attraction, the, the positive, productive energy brings universal reward. You know, if we allow ourselves to be owned by negativity, that's the energy that we put out. So definitely in terms of law of attraction, this is a great energy to have. However, challenging, the message is try and be as positive as possible. Okay, so... I'm going to pull four cards, Pisces. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Pisces. 4th to the 10th of January 2021, please. Oh, I'm going to take the ones that have fallen on the table. So I've got the Page of Swords. And I've got the Knight of Swords. The Judgment card is in your challenge position. Knight of Cups, which is Pisces actually, is advice from spirit. And your outcome is the Queen of Wands. Generally a card of Aries for me as a reader. Can be fire energy, fire signs, Leo Sagittarius. Or the energy of that card. So let's see what else we get. Can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Pisces please? Angels, spirits, guides. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Pisces. Fourth to the 10th of January, 2021. What do we have for Pisces, please? And Happy New Year, Pisces, because I am doing these around New Year's Eve. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? I don't know about you, but we're all in lockdown here in the UK, so... <laughs> okay, so we... Ha oh, there you are, Pisces again. So the King of Cups and Judgment is your challenge. The Knight of Cups is clarified with the Ten of Wands here. And the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords. There's an energy here, Pisces, of, let's clarify this King of Cups, let's clarify this King of Cups, which is a card of Scorpio, can be you or Cancer as well, let's clarify this King of, okay, so I have the Ten of Wands with this King of Cups. Pisces, the moon card is, is you. It's a deceptive energy. It's an energy of a lack of clarity. Can also be things going on beneath the surface. 
but it is your energy you know um highly intuitive energy it feels like there's been some news here that has you've learned something you've learned some news or information or some truth um I mean, it could be a conversation that has, where you've learned something, you know, you've learned something or been told something. It, it feels in this situation, it's caused a burden. And again, it, it could be to do with something that you weren't clear about or something that you had suspicions on. I mean, it can be that kind of energy as well. Maybe something that your intuition was telling you, maybe this is confirming something here. I mean, it can be that kind of energy as well. But it, it feels like, I mean, the sword's energy is to do with truth, clarity. Um, it's linked with our mind, our thought patterns, but it can also be to do with communication as well. And there's kind of an energy of learning something here, being enlightened. Because the, the King of Cups is... I mean, this can be you. It could be somebody in your life. I mean, it could be to do with love, romance, relationships, could be money, career, could be any of those areas. But it feels like whatever this, what, whatever you've learned, it, it feels it's caused a burden. It, feel, it has caused some kind of burden. I mean, the Ten of Wands is a kind of, is a burden. It's carrying a heavy weight, a heavy load. It can build up over some time, but it feels like for some of you, Something's happened which has either put pressure on you, could be on your relationship, or could have put uh, responsibility pressure on you, feeling the weight, the burden. It could be in other areas of your life, for example, money, career. It feels in this situation, Pisces, it's to do with this news or truth or information that's come to light where you've learnt something. Something that you may have suspected already, but maybe something's been confirmed. I mean, it can be that too. And the Judgment card is, is a card of... Normally, this is a card of a call to action. The need to deal with something. So, Pisces in this energy, something is coming in here that is causing you... And it feels in the, and this is the trumpet, the call, you're being called to act. You need to deal with something quickly um, in a situation. It might well be for some of you, it could be something unexpected, could be something that you suspected might happen, or it could be something that you've learned. And now trusting your intuition, you need to deal with a situation. Could have been some deception as well. Um, but the, the definite energy with the judgment is you need to deal with this quickly. You know, uh, there's, there's definitely an energy of, of, I don't know why I'm saying this Pisces, but don't blame yourself. Uh, for some of you, you might be blaming yourself for this. Uh, there's definitely an energy here of, it's not, it's not for you to blame yourself. There is definitely an energy, something needs to be dealt with. And there is definitely an energy of being at some kind of crossroads here, where you have an opportunity with this news that you've heard to stay on the path, for example, in relationships that could be giving somebody a second chance, um, or it could be going in a different direction, um, starting over, going towards a new path for yourself. So it feels for some of you, you have a major decision or choice to make that where you need to respond quickly to a situation that has just become too much. Yeah. And the King of, like I said, the King of Cups, it could be you. Uh, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, King of Cups energy. King of Cups is generally somebody who's hard to read. So again, it can be somebody that is in your life, it's been hard to read, there's burdens, there's pressures, you know, it's that kind of energy. He is very compassionate, generally very um, emotionally balanced, diplomatic, considerate, you know, that kind of energy. But has an energy of... Sometimes in the challenge position, the reverse of the card, 
because obviously the challenge can sometimes mean reversals. It can mean some kind of emotional manipulation as well. But, you know, I'm, I say things that I feel intuitively in these in these readings. So it might well be for some of you that's part of this burden as well. But there's an energy that you need to deal with the situation. There, you're at a crossroads and you have two paths before you in terms of which to make a judgment. There is, again, this kind of judgment call. I don't know whether we got this for you last week, Pisces. Um, but it is definitely coming up here this kind of judgment call that needs to be made because spirit is saying that you need to deal with the situation the knight of cups is you and again the ten of wands is the pressure it's time to release these burdens it's time to make some kind of judgment call and deal with this burden because you know, it's slowing your progress in moving forward on a journey. And there's definitely an energy with a tenet. It's a completion. Something can be over if you want it to be over. But now is the time to deal with this, deal with this situation, to release burdens, responsibility, take action. Um, the Three of Swords is an energy here, Pisces, of it can be third party situations. You know, in any area of life, the Three of Swords can be about emotional pain. So it could be in business, could be to do with, um, you know, somebody you had a bond with, could be family, could be a partner or husband, wife, um, call it what you will. But this Three of Swords, it can be about something that's caused you emotional pain and it feels like you've learned something. Something has come to light, some news or conversation has come to light where you've learnt something, you've been illuminated. And it, it's just, it's almost kind of like the straw that breaks the camel's back. And there is a need to deal with something. Because there's definitely an energy, I mean, the Queen of Wands can be a person in your life, could be somebody who gives you advice, but can also be somebody in this situation, for example, she's a very magnetic leader, male or female energy, she's generally an Aries, but can be obviously fire energy. Um, but she she is holding this, this Four of Pentacles, and it feels like there's definitely an energy of... of now is the time to release the hurt. Now is the time to deal with something. Because this can be about holding on so tightly to something, it stunts your progress. And there's definitely an energy of whatever this is, it's stunting progress. It's stunting the moving, moving forward. Um, it, it feels like it's creating some kind of barrier and um, confinement to you moving forward. So something definitely needs to be dealt with here. And again, the Queen of Wands as an energy is somebody who is independent of thought, of action. She ha is confident. She is in her power. And there can be an energy here of, of you know, I mean, she can be a card of decisive action, intuitive action, trusting your intuition on how you need to deal with the situation now. And it, this can be a card of self-preservation, self-protection as well. So there's definitely an energy here, Pisces, of now is the time to protect what's yours, even your interests. Could be your conscious interests in a situation. Four of Pentacles, I mean, that can be in terms of money, career, business, home, property, um, practical things that, you know, are yours. Um, can also be job, career, you know, this kind of situation. So there's definitely an energy. I mean, she is also a card of action. There is something about now is the time to deal with a situation that's hurt you deeply because for some of you it's time to release burdens. And there's, de there's generally an energy of remain positive. I mean, this is karma is on your side, karma. The universe sees injustice, the universe sees people's actions and actions have consequences, good and bad. And for some of you, you're being told now is the time to deal with the situation because you have an opportunity to step into your light and release the burdens of a situation. Um, the, the Ten of Wands is, is the burden and this is the release, the letting go. But it's by dealing with something, by making a decision or choice that you finally understand how to find your flow again. So 
So let's get a card, an advice card from Spirit. Any other information for Pisces, please? Any other information for Pisces, please? Okay. So I've got the devil here. So devil is a card of instability. It's also a card of shadow. It's also a card of boundaries, restrictions, feeling powerless in a situation, letting the external world or it could be people or situations dictate to you and you not you feeling powerless and again that queen of wands is somebody who is in her power so there's there's definitely an energy here of of releasing burdens breaking free of a situation that is unhealthy for you the devil can represent unhealthy situations unhealthy relationships in whatever context um power struggles manipulation codependency addiction i mean call it what you will it's 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 the it's the earth earth energy at its most profound so it is desires of the flesh you know and it is it can represent like i said it can represent a bag cycle in this situation it feels for some of you pisces there's learning something here and then with judgment Again, that's putting a, an even bigger spin on this because the Ten of Wands, it feels like you are going round in this cycle of maybe even repeating the same experiences or mistakes or lessons. You know, it's that kind of energy. And it feels you've been hurt. You know, there's definitely an energy you've been hurt as a result of this. There's definitely an energy here with judgment because judgment is a card of, it gets to the point of judgment where we step into our light. We step into our light because we've learned the lessons of the past and we won't repeat them, you know, and that's the lessons learned, but it's in your challenge position. So there is something here, Pisces, about, again, learning. Something has happened. Um, and again, this, this page of swords, is all about learning. I I kind of feel in this situation, this is to do with some kind of behavioral pattern as well, where things may keep on repeating the same cycle, which is that devil energy. And it feels like some kind of, it could be with a person or a situation, but there's definitely an energy now of learn the lesson, you know, learn the lesson and don't repeat it for your own health benefit because you're worth so much more. There's definitely an energy of now is the time to step into your light, to really understand the lessons that the universe has been trying to teach you and not repeat the same mistakes. Um, because again, we've got Saturnian energy. Again, the devil is Saturnian energy. There, there's a kind of feeling here of, of you're being taught something by the universe and again, this is to do with relationships. So the, the, the most raw, the Three of Swords, is Saturn in Libra. A lot of Saturnian energy. So the message is that you've been tested. You're being tested, tried, you know, going through some kind of cycle. And it feels like repetitive cycles here to teach you something so that you don't make the same life choices, life lessons, and repeat the same cycle again. So it feels like you've come to that point here, Pisces, of you've been hurt. This caused some burdens, some pressure, some weight, but this 10 of wands, it feels like this has built up over some time or has happened maybe previously to you. And there's definitely an energy of now is the time to break free of this kind of repetitive cycle once and for all. And that's what you're being asked to do. See, the King of Cups is related to the Death card in the Major Arcana. It's this card of Scorpio, which is the Phoenix rising. It purges the old in order to, to embrace the new. 
So there's kind, there's definitely a kind of undertone here, especially with judgment, because both of these are kind of Pluto energies of, of death, rebirth, stepping into your light and releasing what's gone once and for all. And that's why there's a feeling to remain positive because it feels this is the week for you, for some of you, where you finally learn the difficult lessons that the universe has taught you to the point where you won't repeat them again. And it feels like some lesson has been very, very much learned. And now is the time for you to step into your light. It feels very beautiful, Pisces, it does. Let's pull one more card. Feels very deep. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords, which is, and then I've got the Six of Wands at the bottom. So the Nine of Swords is a card of stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. But it's when you focus on the negative, how things stack up, prey on your mind, distort the reality of a situation. And it's almost kind of like, Whatever this, this anxiety, this emotional pain, this stress that you've been caused, there is an opportunity for a significant success to put something behind you now. But definitely an energy of breaking free of bad cycles, of repetitive cycles, of repeating the same cycle over and over again. There's definitely an energy you have an opportunity to be a victor, a conqueror of this, this week. So powerful energy, powerful message. Yeah, you see, it doesn't surprise me this has come out. You know, the white in tarot is the, is the alchemist color, the, the, the color of transformation. And again, you see that a lot on the death card. So there's definitely an energy of, of great transformation here that I'm seeing here, Pisces, but also catharsis, purge, um, purge, release, cleanse, you know, move forward and learn lessons but don't repeat something about don't repeating the same mistakes we we have always trust the purity of your heart look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question it's a powerful energy and there's definitely an energy of when you step into your power that's when you understand how to bring solidity and security to your life that's when you understand how to uh, focus on what's of value to you truly a value to you, you know, and that's that four of pentacles, that, you know, Saturnian Capricorn energy, again, there's definitely an energy of what these lessons have been doing is, is teaching you what truly is of value to you and where you really need to place your focus, because it, it feels in some respect that there's something, there's a need to break free of, of, of bad cycles that don't serve your highest good anymore. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Pisces. And, and you know, I mean, that could be part of a New Year's intention setting. You know, it might well be part of that. This year, this is what I'm going to focus on. You know, it's that kind of thing. It's the New Year. There's definitely rebirth energies here. So it feels now is the time to, to get that sorted. I wish you well. Um, and I will see you next time. Thank you.